Hi, welcome to another edition of Barnyard Golf. This is Robert. Today, what if I told you I could show you a set of irons that comes in at a price of under $250? The question is, what do you get for $250? Today, we're going to be trying a set of clubs from a company you've probably never heard of. They've been in business over 20 years and they're in Oldsmar, Florida. The company's Giga Golf. Today I'm trying their TRX in the one length setup and let's find out, are they any good? So, the TRX irons, let's take a look at them. It's a pretty nice looking club. You know, on the bottom, face, um, it is in one length. Something that I'm trying to learn, see how I like it. Um, comes with a true temper, feather light shaft, a Lampkin style grip actually a nice build I did test every one of the clubs for loft and lie and they were all spot on and a cool feature of Giga Golf is they actually offer an e-fit system which I did test and I used it on myself and on Irene since I know both of our specs and their e-fit system did get both of our specs exactly like the professional fittings we had so let's see what they do So first hole, par four, 435 yards. Because I'm doing the one length, I hit the five iron. Uh, not my best swing, hit it a little bit low, pulled it to the left. Um, we'll kind of wait and see as we go. Talk more about these one lengths, see how they play. So we left the five iron, maybe 30 yards short of the green, off the left, like I said, a little bit of a low pull. I've got the gap wedge out, we're going to try to pitch one on, let's see how it goes. Knocked myself about 12 feet for birdie, let's see what we can do. on the first. Second hole, 164. We made a nice par on the first. And now we got a little six iron. The winds are howling. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. One length. Let's go. We're dancing. So in a world where a typical set of irons runs upwards of 799 call it 800 dollars what is a 250 dollar iron set and what do they play like you get five through sand wedge into one length which is eight clubs which is an incredible value um, the build is really nice the shafts are all top shafts with true temper and honestly i can't find anything i don't like so far as far as the build the looks are good the feel is good so what are we really paying for Okay, we left about a 30 footer for birdie. It was a great shot. A little long, like I said, the winds are tough. I uh, might have used a little more than I thought. Let's see if we can knock this in. Okay, another par. Two holes, two pars, one length from Giga Golf. Let's go. Hole three, 129 yards, got a nine iron in hand. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing and feeling. Two holes, two pars. Um, see what we can do. Okay, looking good again. So far, I gotta say, I'm really liking the way the clubs are feeling. Um, Distance-wise, they're performing a lot like the clubs I currently play, which are the Ping K15s. They're probably one club weaker than the Wilson D9s that I tested. But I mean, so far, so good. When I tested them on the range, 
I found the gapping to be really good. So that five degree spacing between each club going all the way up to the seven iron seems to be working. Let's see how it goes from here. About 25 feet for birdie, a little left to right. Let's see if we can get this in and go one under. So far, so good. Liking what I'm seeing. Let's go. Fourth hole, par four, 435 yards. Hitting five iron again since this video is all about the one length clubs. Again, so far, performance has been great. Let's see the five iron. Let's, let's look at the trajectory and see where this comes. Because the one length knock is on the five iron and below, they tend to hit low. So let's take a look at that, see what happens. All right, so there's that five iron. Unlike the first hole, that one I hit really well. Um, Trajectory-wise, it looked very similar to what I would expect the five iron to fly like. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. The distance looked perfect. So far, I'm gonna tell you, maybe one links are for me. So we hit a great drive, probably hit it a little over 200 yards, which is really good for me. Probably. Maybe 40 yards to the green. The green's a short, tricky green, so I'm gonna attempt to hit a nine iron and bump and run down to the green. Let's see what we can do. That's gonna be pretty good. So here we are, fourth hole. Just like with the Wilsons, we're looking at a potential birdie, a shot to go one under par. 12 feet, a little left to right, or let's get this in the hole. Settling for yet again another par. And there you have it, four holes with the Giga Golf TRX one length, even par. Really nice golf clubs. Fifth hole, 100, excuse me, 88 yards. I've got a little gap wedge for a little knockdown shot. This should be a good test for one length. Let's see how it goes. Dance it again. So it probably left about 20, 25 feet. A little bit long. It was a nice shot. Um, again, still trying to learn the longer shafts. No complaints though. That's so what we can do. Pretty fun. Sixth hole, 165 yards, gonna hit a six iron into the wind. Um, tough little hole here, let's see what we can do here. Well, I'll hit that one a little bit thin. <coughs> Managed to get right up front on the fringe. <coughs> so from a forgiveness standpoint, that was pretty good. Um, Certainly that swing wasn't very good, but the clubs got me almost all the way to the green. Not bad. So as you can see, I came up short. Probably got, I don't know, 20 yards. So I'm gonna hit a little chip shot. I got the gap wedge. Now chipping is another one of the areas that some people say can be really hard with the run lengths. So I'm gonna try and, somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna choke up a little and try and see what we can do. Let's see what we got. That's pretty good. Okay, chipping with the one length, not bad. Well, here we are in the sixth hole. About to stay even par, not bad. <clears throat> so far, these one length clubs have delivered on about everything I could ask for. They're really good looking, they feel great. Um, they are a game improvement style head, but 
I probably need a game improvement style head. So far for me, great example, thin shot, just about reached the green, and a great chip, saved the par. Let's go. Seventh hole, 128 yards, wind at my back. This is a tough hole for me since I tend to hit a little draw and I got a tree right about where I need to aim. And I'm still learning you know, what these one lengths do for distance. I'm gonna treat this like the pings. I'm gonna club one down for the wind and hit nine iron and let's see what happens. Well, we definitely got on the... Well, we're having pretty much one of the better days we've had all year. We're hitting the ball great. Um, I'm really loving swinging one length clubs. They've probably helped me to dial my swing in, so I gotta thank Giga Golf for a great product. And if you've never tried one lengths, I'd certainly tell you there's pros and cons to everything, but the whole concept of one swing, all I can say is it's working for me. Well, I hit a good drive. Once again, right around 20 foot range. Another look at Brody, let's see if we can get this. Well, not my best effort. Should be another par. Let's see what we can do. Even par through seven. So, so far, seven holes in. Um, the clubs feel great. They look great. For $250, I'm not going to lie, when I bought these, I was like, well, what do you really get? I was expecting a poor quality head cheap shaft, a grip that felt really flimsy. Instead, I've got a club that the iron feels solid, as good as any pro line club I've hit. It's a good looking head. Uh, the shaft's a true temper. The grip is like a lambkin grip. I've got it in mid-size. It feels good. Um, Performance-wise, everything about them has been as good as any club I've ever played. So the real question is, what are we paying for when you can get a great set of clubs for $250. Makes you wonder. Eighth hole, 125 yards. I'm gonna swing a nice easy nine iron and see what we can do. Um, even par, wow, best round of the year. Wow, I left myself in a tough spot here. I actually hit a pretty good shot, but I threw it way up into the wind and, well, it's windy out today and I think the wind got the best of me. Let's see how good we can chip now. I want to save this round. Well, we left a tricky side hill shot. We've got a sand wedge. I'm just going to try and flip it up to the top of the hill and hopefully it'll trickle close to the hole. Again, let's see how we do. One length chipping is always a challenge. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, we got about three feet for par. This has been a hell of a round. I'd hate to blow it like this. Let's get this baby. Come on. Ninth hole. I'm actually sitting in even par. Can you believe that? I mean, by far the best I've played. Um, is it the irons? I don't know. Maybe. What I do know is this is probably the toughest hole for me. It's going to play 142 yards. Um, I normally hit a seven iron about that far, but the wind's at my back, so I'm going at it with an eight. Let's hope we can reach. Send some good vibes for me. We are on the green. Oh, yes. So I cannot believe I'm walking up the ninth fairway with a shot to finish an even par round, which is beyond any of my wildest dreams in this, since I started working on this game again. Wow, I don't know. I think I'll be keeping these golf clubs in my bag for a while. Good luck, baby. I can't believe I'm saying this. 
I've got a shot to go one under par if I can sink this putt. And if I don't, as long as I don't screw up, I'm actually going to finish with a deep par round, which is beyond any of my wildest dreams. Let's get this, baby! <laughs> Even, baby! Nine holes in the book. The best round I've shot all year. My God, what a great day. Now, I've been working on my swing, so I'm going to take some of the credit for some of the great play, but these Giga Golf Clubs have performed as good as any club I've played all year long. $250 only. So the question I'm going to ask to you, do you really need a name brand to play good golf? Because I'm going to say no. I think I'll be bagging these for real and giving these a good hard look. They're just that good. Good shaft, good head, good grip. Um, a company that gives you a 30 day money back guarantee. What have you got to lose? Look them up, gigagolf.com. Giga golf Try a set. You might be pleasantly surprised. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Catch you on the next trip.